the real historical King Conan, Duke of Brittany. He died at the age of 33 when he wore poisoned riding gloves. Have you ever heard of such a thing? That's amazing. So we have outlived our historical counterpart by a good number of years. I'm aiming to reach at least 66. I think that would be would be a fair age, having lived twice as long as the real historical King Conan of Brittany. And it was actually interesting where the rivalry with the Denomondes is from, because the Denomondes, when they prepared for their conquest of England, they sent messages out to all the surrounding duchies, warning them not to attack them since their conquest of England was under the Pope and thus sanctioned by the Christian Church. And King Conan himself immediately replied, well, fuck that, I'm, I'm gonna come for you. <laughs> so, they weren't friends, as you might imagine. Speaking of friends, we're still in several wars due to several... Well, reasons kind of out of our grasp. All right, and back to war we go. The crusade looks like it might just work out, depending. Care about affairs. Someone can be married, so they shall. Are we attacking? Are we fighting? Guys down here. Right, so who shall we send? Some more of our vassal troops. Let's send actually all of them since there's no penalty anymore for them being raised as long as they have been. We'll just attack here. The Breton armies are going to march onto your enemies, my dear ally. Our son in law has generated a grandson who's a pretty good kid because he's quick i'm always a little bit i don't know it, it feels wrong if children turn out to be attractive oh that's an attractive child what does that even mean okay we have prevented someone from joining factions hopefully no one supporting us Maybe if we kill him, we don't have a non-aggression pact anymore. So we'll try. Let's taint to touch our king. Thankfully, since we're paranoid, we seem to be very capable of avoiding prosecution for our... partaking of a secret society using dark forces for our own gain right okay so oh he already has a great pox why do you not like us Oh, we forced him to give a council position. You have never had a better spy master than us. Don't, don't pretend you don't like it. You lead. We'll keep laying low. Oh, uh, no. I don't want to be a commander. And since we're constantly being asked to do things... Okay, so something I wanted to do is to show off a different opportunity to gain land. 
through warfare. Instead of just producing a claim, you could also check out the claimants of, for example, the county of Cornwall. So we're going to check out here, and there is this man called Herbert, who is a courtier in Dorset, and he has a claim. If we look at him, he has a claim on the county of Cornwall. Now, what we can do is we invite him to court, which he will happily do agree to. And now that he has joined our court, which is lovely, first we give him a wife. Um, one of our own, probably. Okay, we'll turn this around a little bit. We check through our kids. Now we need a girl, a woman. Uh, right. Okay, I did the next attempt. Need to find him again. Where is he? There he is. So real quick glance, there is a uh, one from our dynasty. There was one, I know there is. There she is. Um, okay, we set him as a as a special person first, then we get this going. The reason I'm giving him one of my, of my kids is because I want to give this man a landed title. The county of Oui, not Rhin, not Rouen. Not the barony, which is ours. He gets this. And he gets the lower titles too. So now that he is a count, we actually should have the county of Cornwall. Where we can go and fight his liege. Well, we could, if we weren't already at war with his liege, so we will have to wait this out. But once that is done, we can declare war upon them. And since he is a count for us as it is, he will take this and lead it for us. While still remaining our devoted servant, which is... Right. Okay, so our army is too small to besiege anything here anymore. Let's see if you can't besiege something else. Nope. Those mountain counties out here often have very small garrisons. Because it's hard to feed people out there, isn't it? So we'll just have to wait these rebellions out. And after that, we can go to war for Cornwall. Adding one more piece to what we have to conquer. All the while earning a bit of money out here with a bunch of sieges. And we will... Another keep. Let's build a keep level. No, oh, that's way too expensive. Let's build something less expensive. Militia training grounds. Certainly. What do you want? Title of Marshal. Fine, I'll be a Marshal. All right. So our crusade for Jerusalem begins, to which we will actually send all our troops. Well, not all of them. 
Oh, actually all of them. We have generated some war score down here. So first, let us raise our fleet levies as well. We're not going to need to raise our own ships. That's perfectly fine. So we will move all these ships over here in this arbor. So that they will be able to pick up these troops. And then we will... These men... Our income still fine? Yeah, it should survive that. We just wait out this siege and then have our fleet pick us up. Ah, there we go. And we'll send our fleet down here or over here and pick up all of our remnant troops there once the siege is done and we will see how much we can actually contribute to the crusade of Jerusalem or for Jerusalem rather So the reason why you might want to participate in the crusade by actually sending troops is because there are quite a large amount of rewards to be had from such an undertaking. Which is very nice. So we'll collect our troops and ship on down to Jerusalem. And afterward, we will try and take care of this because it should be resolved until then. Oh, we're no longer in a war with him, so that's fine. We just need to make sure that this guy doesn't die. If, uh... Okay, what we're going to do is... We will arrive, contribute a little bit, just a tiny, just a smidge. And once we have done a little bit down there, like siege one or two provinces, then we will gather our troops and go back north, I suppose. But first, of course, we need to make sure that we even have a chance to attack anything. And as you can see, the Muslim armies are fairly strong. It's Definitely a fourth force to be reckoned with. But here we have a little tiny bit of land which no one is going to attack. Oh, except for us, of course, because we are very industrious. We, we know how to play to our strength. Just a little bit more. So what we're going to do, we're going to plop our troops down there and hope we won't be overrun by some humongously huge Muslim army. Make sure our siege man is in charge here of the siege, which, you know, makes a little bit of sense. We'll keep an eye on our troops here. Live with the fact that we have a bunch of unlanded sands and go and, of course, attend the coronation of our liege. Always an important moment to partake in. And we are all happy and it's all great. And you want me to do what? Vote for you in the council. Yeah, fine, why not? Oh, wait, are we the master of our society? Yeah, we're the high priest. So, what can we do? Unholy impregnation? Cool. Uh, absorb life force. Also neat. So, wasn't one of our lovers part of this lovely cult? No? I 
Can't recruit you for Satan either. Why not? Okay, we're traveling. That is why we can't. Oh, so he's just going well, I would say. Not exactly attacking anything of great import here. But that's all right. We're just going to do some dark stuff. Coming close friends with the person coming with us to do dark stuff. Fantastic. Sadly, my wife doesn't want to be part of Lucifer's own. Which probably have forced her to be a demonically possessed supporter first. Okay, we've just wrote it, voted for absolute rule. That's fine. We're about to leave France anyway. That's our suzerain. How's the crusade going, boys? All good? Everyone having fun? Things going well, yes? Doesn't look like it. I'm doing great over here. See, we're taking lands for the crusade. Look at that. Aw. This is our share from what we get. If the crusade is successful, I believe. That's perfectly fine. So we've sieged a little bit around here. Let's siege the whole thing. Let's take it fully. And then we'll join our crusading brothers. What's this? Composing book. Having invested myself in this literary endeavor, I have had been a feeling of being drained lately. When my scribes ask me what the next section of the book should be about, I throw my hands out in the air. How should I know? You cannot rush these things. I need inspiration. So... We could go among the commoners where there is... Well, we definitely become severely injured. Probably. We could die if we go this uh, route. So we'll just do this. We are wounded now by going among the commoners. Who could have foreseen such a thing? Alright, so now we have taken this little county here. We will send our glorious crusading army to actually help with the crusading in the crusade. Where the crusaders crusade for crusading crusade business. Alright, it kind of looks like the crusaders are being thoroughly beaten though. Doesn't look too great for you guys. Alright, so let's join our brothers here. And let's get immediately beaten into a pulp. Yeah, there we go. Immediately beaten into a pulp. By a huge host. Jumping on our backs. Ouchie. Okay, we run over up there. So there's where we send our fleet. Not entirely sure what the papal armies are doing. They're running away. A little bit like headless chicken. So we rejoin our brothers of the crusade. Let's check what's our contribution so far. Oh, we we'll get two relics out of it if we won. I don't even understand how we're not winning. 
All right, so let's siege here. We are currently part of a decent sized Crusader host. Oh, there we go. Now we have a claim on the county of Devon. Which is not inheritable. That is important. Ah, very good. We are conquering Acre. All right, we will not shed another tear. Our lover is dead. I saw a hairy star in the sky. I swear it to be true. It was the color of blood, I tell thee. It was as if the Lord God himself was bleeding. So we get Holy Comet as a modifier. What does that do? There's an omen. Okay. Too much. So far. So we have been part of the little bit that actually worked out so far. All the battles were horrendously lost. Uh, we can't attach to them. So we'll just walk with them. Hope for the best. As in, let's hope we remain the leaders of the siege so we get the money of the siege. About the best we can hope for. I mean, it would be nice to actually help these guys up there. But we don't have enough troops and... This army is not following us. It's actually not worthwhile to split off from the Crusader host. Especially since this army is also walking away. I mean, they're going somewhere entirely else now. South? Ah, now they're attacking. Okay, so we finish the siege and then we join there. Probably. Ah, fine. We're not going to finish the siege. We need to join now. Before they're beaten once more. Oh, this doesn't look good. I don't think our support will actually change the tide of battle here. Nope. These are some... Really, really strong commanders they got there. Okay, we become a Fraticelli heretic. Not great. And again, our glorious mighty army is routed. And with that, we retreat from the crusade. Which also for some reason... Oh, right. It has... Oh, God, no. Um, bum, bum, bum. Relations. Friends. Let's secretly convert to Catholicism. And now we will personally adopt the faith and become a Catholic. And now we're back in the crusade, I hope. No, nope. now we're back. Okay, who's our beneficiary? Just anyone, doesn't really matter. The voices kicked out, kicked us out of the crusade. That is fantastic. Right, so that crusade is not going well. So we'll actually take our troops, return home, have them have a little rest. And we are being forced to switch. Oh, you absolute bellend. Okay, so... One of our vassals is trying to force us to change our um, our laws here. So what we're going to do is we're going to call for all our allies in the absolute hopes that anyone will answer and help. Because right now everyone is literally at war. And we're not bringing all that many troops back home. Nope. We have lost a bunch of alliances over that too already. But, as you can see, the rest of France answers.
hopefully making short work of this upstart. And I would just kind of wait for the crusade to go its way. My son-in-law. Yeah, go become a knight templar, that's fine. Oh, your own thing now. That's great. Now we can attack you because you're your own thing. We are no longer married. I think we should definitely remedy this by marrying her. Losing a little bit of prestige, but that's fine. Hey, guys. Guys, how about you go attack? Right. Let's tell them to go hunt the enemy. Maybe they will get a move on then. Our own troops should be back momentarily. There they are. Glorious Crusaders. Turn from Glorious Crusade. Let's stand on these ships. Don't need them anymore right now. And now we shall go siege our dear little vassal. I'm close friends with someone, that's lovely. Right, I mean, we have contributed a bit to the crusade, not enough. We only get one artifact, but a whole bunch of money if it wins. But if you look at that, it just doesn't look it's like it's going to go anywhere. All right. Oh well, what can be done? Nothing much.